One of these chairs to light too. I'm telling you, this is so much fun. Yesterday, now... It looks so much heavier from back here. Mount Mitchell, which is one of the highest peaks around here. When we got to the top, it was 20 degrees. Snowflakes. It got foggy up there. In fact, when I was riding back down, my helmet kept fogging up. My glasses kept fogging up. I kept having to flip the helmet and uh, so I could see coming down this mountain. And then I get so cold, I'd have to put the face shield back down. But then it would fog up again. And uh, I called my wife last night and told her about it. She said, it's how cold? I said, 20 degrees. She said, and you're having fun? I said, I'm having a blast. She said, you're a nut. I said, well, I'm a nut that's having fun. But that's what we do on these chairs for light too. This is one of the vehicles that God has given this ministry as an evangelistic tool. When I'm riding my motorcycle, it becomes my chariot of life. When I'm riding the countryside through one of my fancy cars, it becomes my chariot of life. You know, the Apostle Paul said, we are to shine as light in a dark world. Well, that's what this is all about. And once again, we thank you for watching the broadcast today. And I trust that our lesson will be an inspiration to your faith. Now, we're beginning a brand new series of lessons. And we're going to be talking about hearing the voice of God clearly. You know, I believe that this is vital. It is a vital key to a victorious Christian life. You've got to learn how to hear the voice of God clearly. So I want to take you through some scripture, share some things with you that I've learned over the last 37 plus years, and I trust once again that it will be an inspiration to you. Now let me ask you this. Are you interested in doing Do you want to be victorious? Do you want to be successful? Then one of the Bible Kathy's got an F is SUV, doesn't she? Hear the voice of God clearly. Mm -hmm. It is vital because... She's already home. She went home last night. Oh, did you call her? No, there was a voice message. No way to know what it is. That's why she went home last night. Uh, I kind of left one. there. She's not going to be back down there on Monday, but in case I did end up going down there today, she was letting me know if I wanted to get that clock. And Sonny had the key. What? Well, Plus you go. They came to... Margarita Drive, Westlake, sign number 80.